My name is Priya, and I'm the creative director of Alawalia, and I'm one of the innovators. At Alawalia, there's quite a few signatures. Um, I'd say one really important one is the denim. Also, a lot of the patchwork shirts are definitely a signature. So they're made from repurposed vintage scarves and patchwork back together. So it means that every single one is slightly unique. <laughs> My heritage inspires me a lot. Uh, I'm Indian and Nigerian and born in London. I think it's important for diverse stories to be told by authentic storytellers. I would hope that the future of fashion it becomes a much more meaningfully diverse place. So I would like to see more thorough and proper diversity at all levels of the industry. I'm Grace Wells Bonner, the founder and creative director of Wells Bonner, and I'm an innovator. I think at the core, I'm, I'm really interested in, in beauty and uh, bringing an Afro-Atlantic spirit to European luxury. So I'm always thinking about this hybrid of two worlds, always thinking about um, representing a black cultural perspective, but within the context of European um, luxury and, and style. Hi, my name is Michael Halpern, and I am the founder and creative director of Halpern, and I am an innovator. The first thing for me is always color. Think brights, think pastels and jewel tones, and then mix them all, all up together in a way that you would think when you're just describing it, it would sound horrible, but somehow all of those things mixed together give you a really escapist piece of clothing. And that's what we love to do. I was raised by really powerful women uh, with big, powerful personalities and big, intense points of view. And that is still something that informs what I do constantly. What makes someone an innovator is authenticity and having a really specific point of view. If everyone likes what you're doing, you're probably doing something wrong. Hey, uh, I'm Jake. And my name is Stefan Cook, and together we're the founders of Stefan Cook, um, and we are innovators. The way that we describe our clothes mostly is this idea of familiar made unfamiliar. A lot of our research is based on just like found clothes and clothes that everyone understands and everyone knows, um, but then changing them in some slight way to make them completely new. Um, I guess the best part um, for us uh, in the creative process is kind of that few days before the collection, before the show. The conversations and like the where it gets really buzzing and it's like two in the morning and you're all like, this is a great idea, yeah. let's do it. We've got to do three of them really quickly because the show's tomorrow. That's really fun. Yeah. An innovator is someone who makes you question your relationship with fashion. My name is Harris Reed. I'm a fashion designer and I am one of the innovators. The moment I realized I wanted to be a designer, I think, was a split second on a playground in a pink t-shirt when I was younger. Noticing everyone's reactions, how they responded to it, and realizing that this is something that I want to make a career out of, making people stop, stare, and look at something. It's kind of about just living every day like a larger than life. Whether you're running to the grocery store, picking up the kids, or going to the Met Gala, I don't see why you shouldn't, you know, be pushing the silhouette, pushing the volumes, pushing the attention. Being a designer today, we are trailblazers. We have the opportunity and the obligation to change the status quo of fashion as we know it. I think an innovator is someone who's not scared, who does not hold back, um, and is someone who's ready to make a change in this world. Hi, my name is Tebe Makugu. I'm a designer based in Johannesburg, and I'm part of Matches Fashion's Innovators Program. My clothes, given in the have a, have a very big storytelling element, you know. I can tell a lot about my sort of experience, my upbringing um, through 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 the clothes that I through the clothes that I make. I almost take the time to feel out the mood of, of, of what's happening, you know, um, around me, and that would naturally sort of inform my 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 collections. But then on the other end, I'm always looking at our own history, whether it's the country or the or continent and you know stories that might have otherwise been forgotten or not known by you know the, the world at large and I just want to see the industry be kinder to the people working in fashion and kinder to the environment um yeah I think taking that work 
I'm Eden. And I'm Tom. And we are Art School, and together we're innovators. A good way to describe the clothes we do is this term decadent minimalism, which is a little bit like when you think of like Hollywood glamour or these kind of classic silhouettes. We cut a lot on the bias, particularly within our suiting, um, which is designed for most of our trans wearers so that it can be adapted as they're on hormone treatment. But then we realise that there's major overlaps with how any woman's body changes over the course of their lives. So there's a built-in flexibility in the way that the clothes can um, be worn, which I think is really important. An innovator is someone who pushes the boundaries. And is a rebel against the system. I'm Emma. I'm Laura. We're Chipova Luena. We're part of Innovators. We're always inspired by and start from the juxtaposition between traditional dress and sportswear. Yeah, I think when we started designing skirts, we didn't quite realise that we've always been skirt people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're very lucky to work together. I think we have very, like, complementing, like, strengths. It's hard to find someone that's, like, on the same level as you. Being an innovator, I think, means uh, being able to think differently and um, kind of commit to your vision um, and also kind of being able to like enact change and do things um, differently. differently than the systems that have been set in place. We think the future of fashion should be more sustainable. And more inclusive. Um, hey, Laura. I'm the creative director and founder of Devi de saint -Sernan, and I am an innovator. So I think the most important thing is that really what I do is for both men and women and that at the end of the day it's just a garment and that it's defined by the wearer. I think you're an, an innovator when you find unique ways to present yourself and it's so important to support each other um, for the new generation um, and only that there's room for everybody and that we should all uh, support each other. So at Bianca Saunders I love playing with the Adirond movement and pushing gender boundaries. I remember like my last collection was based on the dance hall scene so like sound systems and like DJs and that sort of thing. I think music for me is a, a common influence. An innovator is someone who creates their own lane um, and is confident in what their work has to say. And also like, I guess, someone that can create their own tribe is really important. Okay, can I go? Go for it. Hi, I'm Kevin Germany. I'm the founder of Germany and I'm part of the Innovator program. Uh, the best part of putting the collection together is definitely for me um, sourcing the material. First, taking the time and the hassle to find a sustainable fabric instead of just going to a shop and just buy it. It's our job as Innovator to prove you wrong. There's so many stuff to do. I do hope that Everyone is going to slow down and create product with value. Hello, my name is Charles Jeffrey, and I am the creative director of the brand Lover Boy. <laughs> my first fashion memory is, I guess, remembering my mum in this light pink and white polka dot dress. And yeah, I just remember thinking she looked absolutely amazing in it. And it's like one of my kind of like earliest memories of my mum. I love the fact that I can one day do a hell of a lot of kind of abstract painting and then another day style a shoot and that all comes together to make a fashion outcome. I think what makes somebody an innovator is their ability to tap into an authentic energy within their work so that the output is honest and something that people can relate to, whether you're from any walk of life. You can sort of tell those people from others, you can sort of feel that authenticity sort of emanate from their work.